the fragmented pages of history where myth and legend entwine with the tales of old, there exists a book that defies explanation and beckons us to explore the mysteries of giants. Hidden for centuries, this manuscript unveils a realm where colossal beings roam the earth. A realm where one figure takes center stage in an epic saga that blurs the lines between history and folklore. He is Mawe, this mysterious man of renown. The answers come in fragments, and finding the truth? Well, maybe some evils were meant to stay buried. Mysterious dreams and visions begin to trouble the giants. Maui, a titan and the son of the angel Barakel, was the first to experience one of these unsettling dreams. He gathered his fellow giants to share his vision, a vision that would set the course of their fate. My brethren gather close. I have seen a vision that chills my very soul. Mawe, what troubles you so? What vision has shaken you to your core? In my dream, I beheld a tablet submerged in water. As it rose from the depths, only three names remained inscribed. All else had been washed away. What does this vision signify, Mawe? The whole group of the castaways that I shall go to. They survived the spirits of the slain, complaining about their killers and crying out. This vision is one of cursing and sorrow. I am the one who confessed. It is a harbinger of our doom. It foretells a great calamity, one that shall spare none among us. We shall die together and be made an end of. And I will be sleeping. But how can a dream hold such dire portents without trembling? Who showed you all this vision, my brother? Barakel, my father, was with me. He spoke of a barren woman giving birth. Now I have heard wonders. If a barren woman gives birth... I sensed that it was more than just a dream. It was a message from the Divine. I am Enoch. My world is of giants and monsters. It happened not long ago, and it came to pass when the children of men had multiplied that in those days were born unto them beautiful and comely daughters.
And the angels, the children of the heaven, saw and lusted after them, and said to one another, Come, let us choose us wives from among the children of men, and beget us children. And all the others together with them took unto themselves wives, and each chose for himself one. And they began to go in unto them, and to defile themselves with them. And they taught them charms and enchantments, and the cutting of roots, and made them acquainted with plants. And they became pregnant, and they bare great giants, whose height was three thousand ells. And when men could no longer sustain them, they turned against them and devoured mankind, who consumed all the acquisitions of men. And they began to sin against birds and beasts and reptiles and fish, and to devour one another's flesh and drink the blood. Then the earth laid accusation against the lawless ones.
more dreams continued to trouble the giants, causing them to awaken, their sleep abandoning them. Hastening to the details of their dreams, they assembled their monstrous comrades. One of the dreamers witnessed a garden with gardeners, diligently tending to it, watering 200 trees, and from their roots sprouted large shoots. Suddenly, all the water vanished, and a devastating fire consumed the entire garden. One of their own spoke up among them, saying, I too had a dream this night. O oh, giants, wherein the ruler of heaven descended to the earth, and such was the conclusion of the dream. Filled with fear, the giants and monsters called for Mawe, and they would send him to me. So the giant Mawe mounted up in the air like strong winds and flew with his hands like eagles leaving the inhabited world behind. And he passed over desolation, the great desert, in that special place. And I saw him and hailed him.
the son of Barakel came to me for answers and I sent with him a message. <laughs> 